option for angle side angle. Now with angle side angle, we have to come up with that, that missing angle B like we were talking about. So we are going to start with duplicating angle A. So if we look at our angle A over here, we are going to set our compass. We're going to draw that first initial arc. Then we're going to come back over here to our point. And we're going to draw that arc. That's the first step in duplicating that angle. Now we're going to come back over to A. So I have an arc on this one. I have an arc on the one that I'm trying to duplicate. I'm going to come back over here to A and I'm going to get my measurement. We usually call that BD, but I'm not going to use those letters because B's in the problem. So I get my measurement. Come back over here to where it intersected the line. And that gives me my angle A. Yeah, the point in the middle was just a random starting point. So this gives me my angle A. We good to there. I did it to the left. You can do it to the right. It doesn't matter, but one's got to go to the left. The other's got to go to the right. Okay? So now the other angle they gave us was C. So I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to duplicate or I'm going to start with my initial arc. Now this time, since I went left last time, I'm going to go right this time. This is for my angle C. So once I made my initial arc, I'm still using that same vertex. And I come over here, set my compass to that opening. It crossed, intersected my line here. So I go to that spot, make my arc mark. And that is my angle C. So the leftovers between those two angles, this is angle C. So we know in a triangle that all three angles added together give you 180. So this guy has to be my angle B, the leftovers. It's squeezed in between. This was my angle C, which I knew. This was my angle A. They gave me both of those. I took these two angles and I put them on a line. Since that all three of them have to be 180, there's my first one, there's A, there's C, the leftovers have to be B. Does that make sense? So if A was say 30 degrees, C was 60 degrees, then this one would have to be the leftovers of 90. Little puzzle. It does. We're not done with the construction, but we had to figure out angle B to be able to do the construction. They didn't give us enough information. So we came up with the PT or minute. Okay? Alright, so now we have angle A, we have angle B. So now it's time to do the construction. So if this is my A, down here, I go back to my sheet. They told me how long AB was supposed to be. So I'm going to set my compass because I need to mark my AB. So there is my A. That gives me my B. Now I need to duplicate A. So I go back 
and I do that angle duplication again. Since I already made a, ar a mark on my angle, I'm just going to let that be my, well maybe I should have said it different because I'm a little bit off. So that is my original mark on my A. I'll come over here, do that original mark. Measure my opening. I'll set my compass for the opening. Come back, get that opening. So that is my A. I don't know how long this segment AC is because they didn't give me that. So now I have my angle, I have my side. Now what do I do next? Construct angle B. Construct angle B. So this was my angle B, it was the leftovers. That's what we started with and that's what we were trying to find. So we need to go to this guy. I'm going to use a colored pencil, hopefully, maybe, so that I can actually see my markings on it. So I'm going to duplicate angle B. So I mark my arc just like I normally do. Come down here to B. Mark my arc, kind of. Get my settings for that opening. Now it crossed down here, so I've set my compass for that opening. Come back down here. Mark my other arc. So this would give me my line BC. So there is where C would have to be. So let's kind of summarize what we did. Step one was to uh, construct angle A and angle C on a line with same vertex. So the purpose of step one was to find angle B because they gave me segment AB. They didn't tell me anything about C. So then step two was to duplicate segment AB. What was your step three? Duplicate angle A. Step four. It was in purple. Duplicate angle B. Step five is to locate C. Point C. at the intersection. Okay. Now, the biggest thing that I want you to take away from this is did we know when they gave us angle A, angle C, and they gave us a line segment, was that line segment squeezed between those two angles? No. Was it included? It wasn't. So you have to be able to pick those out and be able to, this is called angle, I wrote it as angle, angle, side at the top. Actually, this we're using, we use angle, side, angle to construct angle, angle, side. And that's the name of this construction would be angle, angle, side. That's what was resulted, but we had to use this angle side angle to be able to get to our angle. 